everyone welcome back so today I'm going to teach you guys how to maximize the profits in your supermarket store okay so the first step what you want to do is you want to buy more licenses because as you buy more licenses you give access to a greater variety of products and then some of these products have way higher margins than the lower end products. take for example the sugar you could sell it for around five dollar margins but then if you go to something more expensive let's say this sushi right here which I haven't priced yet you can sell it for around six to seven dollar six to seven dollar margins versus the regular five four three dollars sometimes one dollar margin so the higher the price of an item market rate price of an item goes the more of a chance you can bump it up a little bit to earn an extra profit which goes hand in hand with number four especially when you're starting out you want to round up the prices or round down the prices of each of these items to the nearest dollar notice how I say six something I just go to seven that decreases the time so you don't like you're not fiddling around with quarters and stuff in the early game and it just makes making change a lot quicker this kind of goes in combo with my pricing strategy so if you notice a lot of these items I round up a little bit this one's a bit too high I round up a little bit but I also have items that I round down a little bit so this water is naturally market price is like 3.8 I sell it for 250 because I'm using a strategy that, like places like Costco and stuff use they um they use that rotisserie chicken or whatever and use that rotisserie chicken to hook the customers to come in I'm not really sure if the game has you know complicated mechanics like this but I like to pretend that it does because because I'm a fucking boring accountant anyways um <laughs> um what was I saying yeah so lost leaders they come in they buy a little bread a little potatoes and chocolate some milk and then they're like oh look at this cool water bottle they come in they buy it and boom that's just you know if you're selling for a bit below market where you're still making like a dollar something profit per customer all right number two if you want to expand rapidly and aggressively because you need like more shelving more space to hold the shelving and all that stuff because you're buying mad licenses and you want satisfied customers so you need more space I would highly suggest taking out a loan from the bank as you can see you already took one out in the beginning you'll be you'll have access to these two loans you should take them I mean don't don't do this in real life but this is a video game so there's basically no risk you can always restart the game if you feel like you cheated or something yeah and a number one tip that I have for you guys is to open a light no I'm just I'm just kidding it's to hire cashiers it's almost impossible to play the game when you try to be a cashier and a stock person it feels too much like a, like a real job so you hire these very sad looking cashiers but yeah. um, game devs you should probably put new cashier profiles or, or make these guys happier or something I don't think their customer service skills are too great you should smile more I'm just kidding I'm just kidding um bonus tip this storage space down here is almost useless um, there's no theft in this game so you can just throw the stuff over here or, or over here whatever there's just no theft and the boxes don't really get killed either way it would be cool if you hold it like a like stick them up or like a robbery feature like random person comes in here and it robs your store maybe you have like a gun from back here and you gotta shoot them or something but yeah um yeah those are my five tips thank you for watching